Welcome back to Museum Diaries. So, um, I want to show you guys something. I'm going to peek around the door here. The birds are back. I put seeds in the bird feeder. And the birds are back. They're so pretty. They're so little. To get what fixed? So today, Napoleon came back from the vet. He stayed overnight. He ended up getting into something here at the house. Either that or he got stung by some bees. And he started going into what looked like anaphylactic shock. His face got so swollen, he couldn't open his poor little eyes. I felt horrible. So, Veronica and I assessed him really quick and I rushed him to the vet. He stayed overnight. And um, he's doing a lot better. He got sent home with uh, gabapentin, um, hydroxazine, and another medication I can't think of, but there he is. There's our boy. Hi, where were you? Where were you? Okay. So he's doing so much better. I gotta give him his meds tonight. It's so nice to have the birds back. It took him a few days to come back after I put food in the bird feeder. But you can hear them. Yes, Napoleon. Oh, he's got his tree. I got him some rawhides. Rawhide bones. Me. I absolutely love them. You like your nummy num? Yes, boy. Okay, he didn't scare the birds away. That's good. Veronica's doing great. Um, she's healing every day. She had her home health nurse visit today. Physical therapy yesterday. And tomorrow she's going to have um, what they call occupational therapy on her knee. So she's been busy with visits here at home for her knee replacement surgery and recovery. Alright you guys, just had to show you the birds. All the babies are here. There's Napoleon. He's so beautiful. God, his face was so swollen when he went to the vet, but he looks good right now. There's Artemis. And Lucky is right there. Hi Lucky. Okay. The babies are doing good. I want you to observe the behavior between Napoleon and Lucky. Lucky, what do you got in your mouth? You got a treat in your mouth? You just got a treat in your mouth. And Napoleon, curious, wants to be all up in her business. Kind of sneaks his way in. And if she drops the treat and loses interest in the treat, he'll take it. But he's funny because he, he inches his way closer and closer. Just watch these two.
It's okay, Lucky. You're a good boy, Napoleon. Good boy. You're not going to go after a treat now, are you? No. You're a good boy, Napoleon. Yes, you are. You have such a beautiful face. Lucky, I think he's okay, baby. I don't think he wants to go after your Chewy. It's alright. It's okay. Alright, well that's... That's their behavior with each other. Sometimes. He's lost interest. See, Lucky? He doesn't want to go after your nummy num. Alright, I have to share that with you guys. I want to show you guys what Napoleon has done. He looks so sweet and innocent. No, he's a good boy, but he, um, he's still teething. So, we, we purchased this beautiful 9x13 rug for our living room. Excuse the mess. And, um... Napoleon shredded it. He chewed this whole corner up. Yeah. We probably should have waited. We didn't know he was going to tear into it, but hi, Lucky. We probably should have waited to put it down. Oh well, it is what it is. How are you, Lucky? Hi, hey, little baby. You're such a good girl. Yeah, you are. She sleeps next to me every night, and I always wake up to her little morning kisses. Yes, baby, I'm talking about you. There's Artemis. Hi, Artemis. Hi, baby. You're a good girl too, Artemis. She is. She's been staying indoors a lot more lately. So, Napoleon. Let me show you what else he got into. He got into my little bag of bloopies. He tore it. He tore into it. These are my joints. So, he chilled out after chewing into this. He's now just taking it easy. But, yeah. He's growing and we're learning how to train him little by little. You know, he hasn't destroyed any more shoes lately. I ended up replacing my shoes with these Skechers right here because he tore my Skechers. We tore into my other Skechers and I couldn't lace them up anymore properly. So I got rid of those, which were old anyway. And I got these new ones, which are very comfortable. So this is his new stuffed animal. It's Teddy. He likes to play with that. We play fetch with it. And I want to mention that Veronica is doing better. She's walking more. Um, we celebrated my 51st birthday yesterday. We went to our favorite pub and restaurant, which is local. Had a good time. Came home and went to bed, pretty much. But uh, she's doing better. She's healing. The swelling has gone down. The, the purpleness has gone away. And she's doing much, much better. What is it, Artemis? Is it the birds? She's listening to the birds. 
Come yeah, on. they're too quick for you, and I don't want you bringing in any birds. Once in a while, she'll bring in a live mouse, and we'll rescue it. If we can, we'll rescue it, and we take it out. But she's brought in mice, dead ones, alive ones. There's Lucky and Artemis. Artemis gets along really well with the dogs. She plays with Napoleon, though. And then she's gonna go outside, it looks like. You wanna go outside, baby? Well, it's up to you, Artemis. You can go outside or you can stay inside. She's thinking. Her tail. See her tail moving? When her tail move like, moves like that, she's thinking. She's so beautiful. So she's thinking about something. Another one of Napoleon's toys right there. Another one right there. So, so there's a quick update. Everyone's doing fine. Um, there she goes. Uh oh, the birds know you're coming. They're chirping. Yeah, when she goes out, the birds change their their noise. You'll hear it. It'll be a quick chirp. Well, the birds know she's out now. That quick perching, chirping you hear? Chirp, 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 chirp. Those are the birds alerting that Artemis is around. So, anyhow, thought I'd show you that. All right, you guys. We'll talk to you later. Um, remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our channel already. Follow us on Facebook, MuseumAmericana.com. And remember, we have a Patreon account, patreon.com forward slash MuseumAmericana. Thank you guys for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.